Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we had a great question uh, on the bottom of our, one of our Bootstrap videos from a gentleman named Roy. Uh, we did this sort of gradiated nav bar at the top here so that when you, it's pretty much transparent as you can see, so you've got a nice slider in the background there, but when you roll down and it's covering a white section or a blue section, we've got this sort of gradient background that, that makes it much more legible for the links up here. And Roy's question was, how do I actually apply this to the footer? Well, here's the footer. This is just a little site we put together in our Bootstrap Basics playlist. I'll put the uh, URL for the playlist below here. Um, very easy, Roy, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Not quite sure why you'd want to do that for the footer, but that's entirely up to you. So I'm using Google Chrome here. If I right click, go up to this, this header here and right click and inspect, we can see it's right here and it's got the TRN class that we gave it. And we gave it that background image of a linear gradient which is the gradient we've got up here. Let's just copy this background image, left click, just drag it across. Like I say, I'm using Google Chrome. Hit F12 or right click and hit inspect and it'll bring up this console. Uh, as long as you've got the styles selected on one side, yours might be up the, on the side or in a different place, but uh, you can change that with the three buttons here. As long as you've got the styles selected, the tab, you'll have CSS here. And as long as you've got elements selected, in the other one you'll have HTML here so I'm just copying a bit of this CSS which is this gradient right here now let's slide on down to our footer and I'm gonna right click and inspect that it should take me to it in fact I saw that before I got there here's the footer and at the moment the footer's got a background of uh, almost black 222 so let's just uncheck that and paste in that gradient there you go, now you've got that gradient on the bottom there. I guess it should be the other way around, dark at the bottom and light at the top. That's very easy to do. Just click, left click until you're inside there and we'll flip that one to a zero and we'll flip this zero to a one. There we go, now we've got the gradient at the bottom. Presuming that you're happy with that, we'll write it into our CSS style list. So we're in footer, background image, Here's our folder with all our files in it. Here's the custom CSS that we wrote for this particular site. I'm going to right click and open it with my text editor brackets. If you don't have a text editor, brackets is awesome. It's free and I'll put a download link below this video also. Let's go down. I'm sure we must have a footer entry down here somewhere. Or I could just hit control F and type in footer. There it is. Okay, footer, there's the background right there. So if we go back, let's just get that out of the way. And presuming we're, we're happy with that, all we need to do is copy this bit of code that we put in there. Control C, back to our brackets text editor, to our footer entry right here. Replace the background there with this. There we go, now save, Control S to save. Now we can go back to the site, close down the inspector, and refresh the page. That should stay exactly the same. There we go. So that's how you put your the gradient that we used up the top there on the bottom. Um, like I said, I'm not 100% sure why you want to do that, but that's fine. I'm sure you've got an idea. If I was doing this, I might like to just... If I wanted it to be see-through, I'd like to probably just add it to the bottom of this bottom section here. Let's have a look what this section is called. This is just another option. Ah, P footer for pre footer. So, okay, this is what I might do. So let's bring up our little file here again. And this is our index HTML page. So let's bring that, open that with brackets. Right click, open with brackets. Here we go. Let's go down to that pre footer section. It's not going to be too far. Here's the actual footer. Here's the pre footer, obviously. 
And what I'm going to do, so I'm going to, where it says footer there, I'm going to take everything from within it and copy it or cut it. And I'm going to put it just after our last entry or our last div in the pre footer section above. You see, this is the P footer or pre footer, whatever you want to call it. Here's that sort of opening container for it. And just below it, I'm going to have this outside the container. You can put it inside the container if you want to, one up, but I'm going to put it outside. I'm just going to paste it. I'll give it a bit of space because I'm going to undo this because I don't want to keep it. I'm just going to paste it in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'll comment this out so it's not here. I'm just going to comment it out rather than delete it because I'm going to pull it back in a minute. And dash dash forward arrow at the end back arrow exclamation dash dash we'll comment all that out so let's save this and see what we got go back to our site control s get that out of the way now when i refresh this actually should disappear and the contents here should be within this section above yeah there we go that's fine might like we're right at the bottom here i might like to add a bit of padding to the bottom there just to because it's buffered way down at the bottom there which is which is okay but i want just want to give it a bit more breathing room and as you can see it's just banged it on within this pre footer section so let's go back to the brackets and with bootstrap 4 they got some great new padding classes so all i need to do to make this work is here's our little row with all our social media icons and logo and copyright I just put P for padding B for bottom dash five that'll give it five M's space down the bottom there and it goes from uh, one to five one being the smallest amount one M and five being the, the largest amount and that's probably going to do it for me so control S back to the site and refresh and we should have a little bit more space on the bottom there we go See, it's got a little bit more breathing room and there it's still a footer but it's kind of incorporated with the transparent background and whatever the thing is above so there's two little options for you roy i hope that answers your question i'm going to go in and undo that all because i really don't i'm just going to leave it as it is but i hope that answers your question so let's take this lot delete that put this back how it was uncomment that And take that last one away there. Save that. And I think I can just control Z to put this how it was. Let's try that. Control Z. Yep, yeah, there it is. And save that. That was a custom CSS. Now when we go back, it should be back how we had it. There we go. Fantastic. Well, I hope that's answered your question, Roy, and helped you out. I hope you've enjoyed that. Anybody that's been watching, if you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.